now to our top story, breaking news on the health care overhaul. The former governor of New York now announcing a new nationwide effort to get the health care law repealed. This comes just one day after a Rasmussen Reports poll showing that more than half of the country, 58 percent, now say they favor repealing this law. Former Republican Governor George Pataki, uh, Republican Governor of New York, is with me now. All right, Governor, this, this is pretty significant. It is, Megan. Uh, our effort's significant, but it's brought about by one of the most uh, glaring examples of government taking away our freedom that we've seen in my lifetime. How are you going to do this? Uh, grassroots. The American people, you just quoted one poll, the American people understand that Obamacare is not going to do what they promised. Uh, it's not going to cut health care costs. It's going to increase them. It's not going to reduce the deficit. It's going to increase the deficit. And worse, it takes away uh, from the American people their freedom to make their own choices as to how they want to achieve the All best right. possible health Let's assume you're right. Let's assume the Rasmussen Repol uh, right. Reports poll is right. H how do you do it? We're going to go around every state, all 50 states, grassroots. We're going to have organizers in every state, hopefully in every community, and we hope to get at least a million signatures and email addresses that we will deliver to Washington and send a very strong message to those who passed this law that the American people don't want it. They want it repealed and they want it replaced with true health care reform. How is that going to move anybody in Washington after we just saw this contentious debate in which they heard the message from the American people, yep. the polls were not for it before the vote, and yet they voted for it? You know, Megan, I've thought about this a lot because I want this to succeed. I don't want to just try to do it. Uh, what the Democrats thought and I honestly believe this, is we will ram through health care reform, what we call health care reform, against the American people's desires, against the election results in Massachusetts, against the principles and the policies and the rules of the Senate, because once it's passed, the American people will accept it and move on to something they else. They said that. We're not going to let that happen. We're going to show the same tenacity in, in overturning Obamacare and putting in place good health care reform uh, that they did in ramming it through. And as you just quoted, Instead of the American people saying, well, it's over, we accept it, the American people, by m bigger and bigger numbers, understand this is going to jeopardize their health But they also probably feel that there's nothing they can do there about it. There is something it. they can what? do about how, it, and that's exactly what a re Revere America is going to do. Page We're not just going to get anybody. the signatures. We're going to take them, and we're going to break them down by congressional district and by Senate district, and we're going to deliver them to the members of the House. We're going to deliver them to the senators, and come this fall, uh, if they have voted for this and if they're continued to oppose our efforts to repeal it and replace it with real reform, then we're going to go after them because they are not reflecting the desires of the American people. They're not reflecting the desires of the people of their district. This is a democracy. The people ultimately rule, and the people want this law repealed let's, and replaced. Let's say you do. Let's say you either get the, those who voted in favor out of office or you convince mm -hmm. those who voted mm -hmm. in favor to reverse themselves. Mm -hmm. What specifically at this point can be done. The tentacles are out there. They're in everything. <laughs> and the tentacles are getting people very nervous so and worried about their health care. You pull them back by repealing the law and replacing it with true reforms. Can that, as a practical matter, can you repeal this law? Really? Absolutely. There's no question you can. It, it, the, it's what the American people want and it's what's best for our country. Now we're not saying that the health care system as it currently exists is perfect. We want to replace it with true reforms. Some of the reforms are all already in Obamacare. Most of it is just taking away people's choices and making them have a different type of uh, policy, but there are some that we would adopt as part of the true reforms going President forward. President Obama came out and said, you, you politicians out there, you want to run yep. on a platform of repealing the bill? Bring it. Go Absolutely. ahead. You tell, you tell American parents, right. I don't want your 25-year-old to have coverage on your policy. You tell yep. American people, I want you to be booted off because of pre-existing right. conditions. And we're going to have true reform. It's not simply repeal. It's to repeal, repeal Obamacare and replace it with reforms that work to enhance the, the health care of the Americans. The Republicans already argued by, by for the that, way, and they lost. Oh, wait, Megan, one more thing. Okay. The same president who's saying, bring it on, and we're going to. Also, is the president who said, pass my $800 billion stimulus bill, and unemployment won't go above 800, 8%, and it's now 9.7%. This bill increases taxes by hundreds of billions of dollars. It places burdens on those who want to uh, grow their businesses and add jobs. And, uh, you know, it's not just about health care. But when these arguments were already raised, yep. and those lawmakers they were rejected in them. Washington. They, but Absolutely. the lawmakers rejected them. They voted for the bill. Right. 
And they rammed it through because of what they were saying is that once it passed, the American people will, will move on to the next thing. We're not going to let that happen. You want the American people to come up and say basically to these lawmakers, we really meant it. Yeah, we really meant it. And, they, and the American people really do mean it. They understand the consequences long term to their health care, to our economy, uh, to the future well-being of this country. When you take away people's freedom and replace it with politicians telling them the type of health care they are going to have to have for themselves and their families, the American people are not going to stand so for So what this. specifically are you doing? We're, we're, our initial step is we're organizing in every state to go out and get these million signatures and emails. A million in every state? A million total. Oh, total. And, okay. and we're confident we're going to get this. Uh, some states don't even have it. I was going to say, how are you going to have, have some double signatories? Right. And, and, and then we're going to take them to Washington and we're going to say, this is the expression of the American people after you ran this through. You thought the American people were going to go away and be silent. They're not. They're going to be heard. And either you're going to hear them or we're going to send someone to Washington who will listen and hear them. And you're kicking this off, what, in We're Boston? kicking it off Sunday in front of the Old North Church. It's the 235th anniversary of Paul Revere's ride. He awoke in America to the fact that our freedom was in danger. Our freedom is in danger again. We're going to get it back. You're going to be yelling something like, one if my land, two if I see, <laughs> something exciting having to do with Paul Revere. Exactly. All right, Governor. You know, it's interesting. Uh, it's interesting because I think the Obama administration very much believes that this is a losing platform and the polls suggest the American people are behind it nonetheless so Absolutely. we'll see we'll be watching we will it. see thank you so much for being thank here. you Megan we appreciate it folks what do you think let us know Kelly at foxnews.com in the background about to be posted on our web page too well coming up in about uh, 22 minutes Shepard Smith takes over on Studio B hi Shep hey Megan do you like paying all these extra taxes this year love it you do love it Can't well you're not enough taxes you're, you're not alone and today on Studio B you will meet the man who is the co-founder of an organization a millionaire who says, I am down with being taxed more. I like being taxed more. I'm glad the Bush tax repeal or the Bush, Bush tax cuts are being repealed. I want to pay.